What's up guys, this is Skytech Freak and today I'm going to be doing a quick video review or overview of Xiaomi.eu ROM based on MIUI 12. So this is not the Xiaomi.eu ROMs based on MIUI 11 like we've seen so far. Uh, Xiaomi officially has released two MIUI betas and Xiaomi.eu has taken those two beta ROMs and converted them or modified them into the Xiaomi.eu ROMs like they do with all official MIUI releases. And I thought I'll just drop this video today because uh, Xiaomi is also going to be revealing or showcasing their official MIUI 12 uh, ROM internationally today. So before that showcase happens, I thought I'll just make this video uh, based on the Xiaomi.eu ROMs, which are technically stable ROMs, even though they are based off the betas. Uh, most things or all things tend to work. Uh, like I said, this is the second beta ROM that this is based off, and therefore this is the second Xiaomi.eu ROM that this is based off. But it's the first one that's worked properly on the Mi 10. So this is my Xiaomi Mi 10. Um, as you can see, I've made videos about this phone before uh, on the channel. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is that the first Xiaomi.eu ROM didn't work properly on the Mi 10 series. It was just draining too much battery from the camera and the camera wasn't working properly. So it was like an unstable ROM. But I've been using this one for a few days now since it's been released, I think three or four days back. And it's uh, been working flawlessly for me. I haven't really run into any bugs. There are some like gimmicks, I guess, like some UI issues and problems that I'll get into in the video, but there's no major bugs. And this is completely perfect for uh, a stable daily driver. So without, wasting any more time and I'm sorry that my desk's a little messy today but let's actually get into the video that you guys have come here to see. So quickly before we actually get into taking an overview of the ROM and all the changes, uh, important to mention why I actually made the video based on the Xiaomi.eu ROM and this is something I get a lot of questions on even in my other videos about how to install Xiaomi.eu uh, on the on the Mi 10 and things like that or just Xiaomi.eu on any Xiaomi phone in general as to why I would do that. And so the reason is because these beta versions of MIUI 12 that Xiaomi officially released were based off the Chinese ROM. And uh, the Chinese ROM basically doesn't have the same level of Google apps as integration. They have a lot of Chinese alternatives. You can like go out of your way and get the Play Store APK and then install those same Google applications, but they don't work in the same integration version. For example, like the Home Assistant uh, isn't Google now or isn't Google Assistant. Uh, it's basically some Chinese one that I don't really know. And you can't, there's no way for you to change that in the Chinese ROM back to Google. Uh, similarly, in the Chinese ROM, so it's more difficult for you to change system default launcher. Like I like Nova Launcher, but that one sort of forces you to have only a Xiaomi.eu application. So either Poco Launcher or the official system default launcher uh, are the ones you're limited to. And other things like that, basically there's advertisements in the Chinese ROM. There's all these Chinese bloatware apps that you can't really get rid of. Uh, there is like ways to de-bloat them on XT and things like that. But just, it's so much easier on Xiaomi.eu where they add a few features, they make it, um, well, they make it a lot more accessible for English speakers and other language speakers, and they remove app, uh, advertisements and they have like Google integration. And so that's really the benefits of Xiaomi.eu. Uh, I don't really know if it's any faster or it saves any more battery life, but there isn't a significant difference if that's a good enough answer. So having all the benefits and then not losing out anything in terms of battery life or in terms of performance and things like that. That's why I think Xiaomi.eu is really uh, the better ROM. And this is something that I get asked a lot. So I think this is one place where I can give you that answer. And so, yeah, now let's take a dive into Xiaomi.eu on MIUI 12. All right. So the first thing I wanted to show you guys was this thing called uh, dynamic wallpapers or super wallpapers, which is a little weird because in some places like in the theme store, and I think even in the MIUI, like uh, beta versions, they call them like dynamic wallpapers, like in the official release notes of these ROMs, they call them dynamic wallpapers. But then if you go into settings, they're called super wallpapers. So, I mean, I guess they're interchangeable or they might be slightly different things. I'm not too sure, but that's what I wanted to show you. It was one of the big features or one of the big UI changes that they wanted to show off in this new ROM. So as you can see here, I've actually turned on always on display. So this is always on display. These super wallpapers or dynamic wallpapers have basically three parts. The first one is in uh, the always on display. So like this is the always on display. Then we go into uh, the lock screen and this is the lock screen. And then when you open up the lock screen, it opens up into your home screen like this. So we can just look at that whole process one more time. Always on display, straight into the home screen. So we skip part two here. But if you go into the always on display, then go to the lock screen and then unlock it. As you can see, we get into the home screen, which then shows like a more close 
version of like the Mars wallpaper, the one that I've chosen. So this ROM came with only two of them pre-installed. Uh, I usually don't have always on display on. I've only turned it on to show you guys this, uh, but let's go into settings. And here's the second major UI element that they've changed. And I mean, if you guys know early MIUI and actually even still MIUI is like heavily, I guess, influenced by iOS. So I think very initially MIUI before they were like a phone making company or Xiaomi before they were phone making company, they should just make MIUI ROMs whose main gimmick was like trying to take popular Samsung, uh, popular Android phones like the Samsung Galaxy S2 and things like that and turn those into as close a clone software wise as like iOS and things like that. So we can see that even in like the Xiaomi or the MIUI main uh, home system launcher, they don't have app, they don't have an app draw, everything is just side by side. I'm of course using Nova launcher with like an oxygen or Oxygen OS theme, but yeah, you guys know that the MIUI launcher doesn't have app drawers. You just have to keep swiping just like uh, just like iOS and then you can make folders like iOS. But here's another big thing that they've uh, sort of picked out of and uh, of uh, iOS, I guess you can say. So on the right side, if you scroll down, you actually need this control center, which on iOS, if you swipe up, I think you get to reach this control center. And I think they're both called control center as well. But here you can see it's like the notification shade or the quick settings panel, sorry. Um, and the way you actually reach the control center is you swipe down on the right and you reach the control center. And if you swipe down on the left, you reach your notification shade. And so that was one of the major UI elements that they've picked up. I actually quite like the control center. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's a very easy way to access everything. If you swipe down, you get to expand it to all the other options you have. And then from the control center, you can go directly into the settings as well, which is, one of, which is what I wanted to show you. And here we will find, give me a second, where is wallpaper? We see wallpaper here and so here you can see it's called super wallpapers here and then like i said it's called dynamic wallpapers in the app store and i'll show you that also so here you can see home and i said that there's three parts to it so that's part one this is part two and then part three and in part three you can actually choose a few locations so if you're choosing earth there's these three locations in earth that you can pick and uh, otherwise you can go into mars which is the one i have and i quite like as you can see one two, three, and then the third one, you can change what the third uh, image is. I actually think this creator situation looks quite nice. So I have obviously applied this creator thing. So yeah, that's all there is for Super Wallpapers. Let me just quickly show you that in the theme store, if we go into uh, themes, it actually says dynamic wallpaper here. And uh, as you can see, so there's a little bit of a confusion as to what, what is and it is what it is. Uh, as you can see, I've actually been using these gestures, which are different now in MIUI 12. So another thing that they stated, that Xiaomi stated they wanted to change from their MIUI 12 ROM was that the fact that their gestures were, you could go back if you swiped up from here, and then you would go to recent apps if you swiped up from here, and then home was if you swiped up from the bottom. But they've of course changed that now they've made it to the official Android uh, system navigation method. So to go back, you just have to swipe from the back uh, from the side, sorry, and you can see these little arrows pop up and you can do this from both sides. It doesn't matter which side you do it. And also it cuts off. You can actually choose where you want it to cut off. And then above that, it'll do the hamburger menu because in a lot of apps, you have to swipe to get the hamburger menu. So you can choose to about halfway through the screen, it'll go back. And then if you do it from above that, it will no longer go back. So if you see I'm swiping from here and the back isn't showing up, but if I do the same swipe from here, the back will show up. And so yeah, these are just some of the few changes they've made. Anyways, the main takeaway is that this now follows, even if it looks a little different in terms of just the UI, because this is MIUI, uh, it does follow now uh, Android system navigation. So going to recents is swiping up from the home and holding, sorry, swiping up from the middle and holding will bring us to our recent applications, whereas uh, just swiping up brings us home. So that's another major change they've made from their navigation uh, bars, from their navigation uh, mode from the past and now the next thing that i wanted to show you was other ui elements that they've changed and this is another thing so besides control center and sort of gesture the way gestures look and feel and things like that there's also a few other changes they've made um and these are all ui elements so like yeah the uh, the menu look and things like that have changed so in phones that have 90 hertz displays you can actually see how they show that the left side is more sloppy than the right side um, the left side is, of course, representing 60 hertz, and the right side represents 90 hertz. And actually, it's interesting here that they say some apps will be utilizing it, while not all apps utilize it. So I guess system menus and 
and uh, apps that are made to run or to benefit from 90 hertz will actually be able to use it like chrome and i guess instagram and things like that but other apps that don't have it in the development or don't have it in their code to utilize uh, 90 hertz will still be using 60 hertz so i guess we're not losing as much battery life as we would be if it was just a constant 90 hertz at all times it's actually a variable 90 hertz uh, which can go down to 60 hertz so that's another thing that i wasn't sure about in this phone if it was running constantly on 90 hertz but this a uh, new menu has sort of made it clear whereas in the old one it was just like two options and it really wouldn't show you this visual representation and so that's something that's consistent across uh, across MIUI 12 where they really changed the visual representation of things and made it a lot more easy to access or a lot more visually appealing and uh, more representative so as you can see here the storage is sort of shown in like this liquid version where if you tilt your phone it also like tilts uh, that that storage liquid or whatever you want to call it so here you can see this is how they represent your my device which is very different in mi ui 11 here it, you, if you click on it it'll actually check for updates uh here storage they have now this cylinder which will take a second to sort of just show you all of the different versions or uh, all the different file types that you have that's actually taking up storage in your phone and i really like this like cylindrical view uh it's way better than sort of having to go through it in like a file manager or something like that and then of course you can change your device name here if you so choose and uh, yeah so these are some of the major changes that i saw in miui 12. Uh, one or two of the other things i just wanted to tell you um is that i i mentioned earlier that there are some gimmicks uh one of those is the fact that the dark mode is i think a little more aggressively applied right now so basically it'll like force applications that don't have a dark mode to change ui elements that are white to black and sometimes that doesn't like that doesn't work well so like in nova launcher it was just changing because i have um because i have like certain elements like my ta uh, my google bar etc is white even though my nova launcher s like settings are dark mode i leave i like to leave some of the, the elements white but it was like forcing them to be black so i didn't have the option to like make it white and like even this arrow up here in Nova Launcher, they had like uh, the dark mode on MIUI 12 had like aggressively forced it to be black without giving me the option to change it. So even in Nova settings, if I had made the color of these things white, the dark mode would impose a black mode on it. And I think a good way to see that is like on Google. If you just go to Google, um, it, these things are actually supposed to be lighter or, or white and it's just forcefully black them out. and it looks a little different than the actual dark mode of Google's, right? So like I was saying, if you compare the two of them, uh, this is this is the normal Google app, which is being forced to run black. Uh, and then this is what it should look like in dark mode. As you can see, like the dark mode is a lot more, like when the apps do it themselves, it's a lot, lot more subdued and not aggressively just like black everywhere. Uh, so yeah, so I think that's a little gimmicky in the camera, like uh, I have Google camera installed and it was like forcing all these UI elements to just be black and then you really couldn't tell them like even here it says macro lens one times and 0 0.6 times it was just like blacking them out uh, I guess I should mention here that the Gcam does work perfectly here uh, the Urinex 05 application that's really good um, on the MI devices the Mi devices uh, is working perfectly so there's no problem with Gcam and things like that uh, but yeah, so this dark mode was a little gimmicky. I think my UI 11 did a great job of the dark mode. So I don't know why they had like revamp it this aggressively, but I'm sure again, this is just the first or second beta build of the of the MI UI 12 ROM to begin with. So that's another thing that'll change. Uh, second thing that actually happened is I've put an oxygen OS theme and that usually changes the system navigation bar look as well. Uh, but since most themes, at least the way MI UI 11 used to do themes is they would pair the notification shade and the system navigation bar together and what that means is like if you if you theme your uh, system notification shade it also themes the task bar or the system navigation bar sorry uh, but now since in miui 12 you don't really have a system notification shade or, or there aren't themes available for it because it's so new there's this control center thing instead of the original version you also can't theme like the system task bar so right now i'm using gesture so it doesn't even matter uh, but I can show you quickly that in display, if you go down to full screen display and you show them the buttons, these are the buttons uh, that are default to MIUI 12. I used to like the pixel look of them where it's like a little more rounded and, they, and this was a square and this was just a back button. But 
again since you even if you use pixel themes and stuff and stuff like that just because control center is new and they pair the control center or the notification shade and the system buttons together you won't be able to theme this i do think again just because most themes today are based off miui 11 and previous versions of miui 11 uh, of miui that's probably why i do think like over time once you start once people start creating themes specifically for miui 12 of course that system navigation button will also uh, change i usually like to use the system buttons only because i have uh, smaller hands and so then i can do the gesture to make it one-handed mode which is which was swiping yeah there we go which was just swiping to the left from the home button to the left and then i could reach everything with one hand uh, so i like to use these buttons mostly because of that the gestures are also extremely convenient especially if you have bigger hands and can actually reach the entire screen based of that but yeah so like i said once they make themes for this you'll be able to theme i guess the system navigation bar the nav bar as well but currently uh, you can't do that. Sorry if this was sort of a lot of rambling and very specific things I was talking about, but I do think I covered most of like the major changes that will strike anyone when they first take a look at MIUI 12. As far as installing uh, Xiaomi.eu MIUI 12 on your Xiaomi device, whether it's the Mi 10 or it's all the other devices that are supported by it, uh, I actually have a video on my channel already on how to unlock the bootloader, install DWRP, and uh, flash xiaomi.eu rom on any me device so on any xiaomi device that supports it um so i'll link that video you can follow that step by step and i'll link that video uh in this video of course uh and as far as if you already have the xiaomi.eu miui 11 rom how do you update to the xiaomi uh eu miui 12 rom it's simple you just have to dirty flash so you just go into twrp and you flash the MIUI 12 ROM on top of uh, the MIUI 11 ROM. You don't have to wipe anything. After you flash it, you can wipe Dalvik in cache. But otherwise, there's no major flashing that you, uh, there's no major wiping that you had to do. At least I didn't have to do it. So if you already have TWRP and you're already running Xiaomi.eu on an earlier version, you can simply just install the Xiaomi.eu 12 MIUI 12 ROM just on top of that. Just dirty flash it and then wipe Dalvik.cache. That's what I did. So that's how I installed it. Again, if you need to know how to get to that stage where you have TWRP and an unlocked bootloader and Xiaomi.eu 11, uh, of course, I'll link that video because I have made it on my channel. Uh, this ROM is supported by pretty much all the devices that got the MIUI official beta. And I think Xiaomi.eu might have added a few more devices, but I'll link uh, the version of this ROM, uh, this Xiaomi.eu ROM in the description as well. And again, if you found this video helpful, Please like and consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.